Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number one, that is characteristics and life processes of living organisms. So my dear students, today I will deliver a sixth lecture and in today's lecture, the students will be able to uh, know about the characteristics of plants and animals and specifically we will discuss about sense and respond and excretion. So as you know that we are discussing in every lecture different characteristics of animals and plants we will discuss like movement, growth, um, uh, respiration we uh, have discussed reproduction and in characteristics and today we will discuss sense and respond and excretion. Ko discuss karenge. So my dear students, before moving on towards the lecture, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. So my dear students, quickly listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them. So here you can see that there's a plant and a cat. So quickly tell me that how animals reproduce. Birds lay eggs and some animals also give birth to live animals. Very good. Now how animals get food? They eat plants or other animals. Very good. Now, how plants get food? Plants do not eat food. They make their own food in the presence of sunlight, air and water and the process is called photosynthesis. Very nice. Very good. Aapko sara remember hai. Now, let's move forward. So, in today's lecture, all the students will be able to compare and contrast characteristics that distinguish major groups of living things, plants and animals. And specifically, we will discuss about um, sense and respond and excretion. So my dear students, now let's move forward towards an activity. So quickly look at these pictures. Here you can see a tiger and a plant. So both are living things. Now quickly tell me what are senses and animals? They can smell, hear, taste, run, touch. So these are all the different senses that animals have. Or ye any senses ke bina par, jo unka environment hai, jo unki surrounding hai, us pe respond karte hain. Yani ki agar animals ko uh, apne prey ki khushbu aaye, they smell it, to wo usko smell karke jo hai, respond karte hain, aur us taraf move karte hain, aur is tarikhe se wo apna shakar pakar sakte hain. Similarly, plants ke paas bhi senses hoti hain. Did you ever see a plant that respond to a stimulus? Name this. So this is a plant, I have told you this before. This is a mimosa plant and it is also called touch me not plant. When it leaves ko touch kiya jata hai, to ye instantly close ho jate hai. So this is the respond to touch. Iske ilawa sunlight, uh, agar uh, jis side par hogi, ye us taraf move karte hai. So this, these are different sense uh, organs which are present in plants. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. So, it is he who has endowed you with the faculties of hearing and has given you hearts to think. Scarcely do you give thanks. So my dear students, Allah Ta'ala ne humari liye humari senses ko banaya hai. Iske ilawa, balki na sirf humari senses, animals or uh, plants ki senses ko bhi develop kiya hai. Or likin hum log jo hai Allah Ta'ala ka humay chahiye ki hum in cheezo ke liye bhoat zada shukar ada karein. Now let's move forward towards the pre-reading questions. So listen to the questions very carefully and then answer. So quickly tell me how plants get rid of their waste. Jaysay uh, animals hain, jab unka waste product, in whatever they eat and drink, to ye usko excrete karte hain apni body se in the form of feces and urination. So plants ke andar urination or feces ka process nahi hota, to how do they uh, excrete? In ke andar transpiration hoti hai, water jo hai, wo evaporate hota hai. यानी कि इनके लीव्स के ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा गर्मी में जो वाटर है या एक्सेस वाटर जो है वो इनके लीव्स के थ्रू या इनके डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स के थ्रू वो एवापोरेट हो जाता है सो दिस इज हाउ अगर एक्सेस मिनरल्स हो गए हैं या न्यूट्रिएंट्स है या कोई भी इनकी बॉडी में एक्सेस चीज है तो इस तरीके से प्लांट जो है वो उसको अपनी बॉडी से एक्सक्रीट आउट कर देते हैं सो हाउ एनिमल्स एक्सक्रीट देयर वेस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूरिन एंड फीसेस so my dear students, now uh, the characteristics of living things, plants or animals, growth, movement, respiration, 
eating and feeding, reproduction, sense and respond and excretion. Today we will discuss about sense and respond and excretion. So my dear students, now I request you all to please open page number 7 in your science uh, 4 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. So now let's start the reading. So sense and respond. As plants and animals have different body parts, their response to the environment is contrasting. Animals respond through their senses, that is seeing, hearing, smelling, etc. These senses help animals in their food search, reaction at the time of danger, etc. So my dear students, plants or animals who have a lot of body parts and these are body parts that respond to the environment respond करते हैं इनके different body parts में different senses होती हैं लेकिन इनका respond करने का जो तरीका है वो मुख्तलिफ होता है जैसे कि animals जो हैं उनके पास कौन कौन सी senses हैं देखने की सुनने की चखने की so these are the different senses that animals have so अगर वो किसी चीज को सुनते हैं या सुनते हैं और उनको खतरा महसूस होता है तो they run away so this is how they respond पहले उन्होंने sense किया through their sense organs जो के सुनने की और देखने की और सुनने की हिस्से हैं। इसके बाद वो उसको respond करेंगे by running away। So this is the response, sense and respond। So इस तरीके से जानवर जो हैं वो अपनी मुख्तलिफ senses से चीजों को sense करते हैं और फिर उसको respond करते हैं। Now let's have a look कि plants कैसे respond करते हैं। Plants on the contrary respond to the sunlight and moisture। Leaves grow towards the light, roots grow away from light to find water। so my dear students, plants जो हैं वो इसके बराक्स जो हैं किस तरीके से respond करते हैं कि वो sunlight और water जो है उसको sense करते हैं और फिर उसके according respond करते हैं उनके different body parts जैसे कि stem और leaves जो हैं वो हमेशा रोशनी की तरफ जो है वो grow करते हैं इसके ऊपर अभी हम एक experiment भी करेंगे और roots जो हैं जो जड़े होती हैं वो रोशनी से दूर भागती हैं और पानी को तलाश करती ह� so this is how plants respond to their environment. Now let's move forward towards the next characteristic of plants and animals that is excretion. Quickly read it with me. It is on page number 8. Excretion. Plants excrete waste gases that is carbon dioxide and water, water vapors through leaves. Other waste substances are stored in leaves which fall off when they become yellow. So my dear students, अब excretion का process जो है वो plants में कैसे होता है? So plants के जो leaves हैं, उनके through जो है वो पानी या कोई भी जो body में इनके excess nutrient या waste product है, वो इनके leaves के through evaporate हो जाता है। या एक और चीज होती है कि ये अपने leaves में dead leaves के अंदर तमाम waste product को store कर लेते हैं और जब वो yellow हो जाता है, तो they fall off and this is how they get rid of waste. Now let's see कि plants का आपने excretion देखे हैं। Now let's see कि animals कैसे excrete करते हैं waste products को। Animals excrete waste in their droppings, while the waste gas that is carbon dioxide is released from the mouth. So my dear students, जिस तरीके से plants में उनका waste gas जो है वो that is oxygen that is excreted by the leaves। इसी तरह एनिमल्स जो हैं उनमें भी एक्सक्रीशन होती है वेस्ट गैस की और जब हम सांस अंदर लेते हैं तो हम ऑक्सीजन लेते हैं और जब हम सांस बाहर निकालते हैं तो दिस इज़ द वेस्ट गैस ऑफ़ आर बॉडी इसी तरीके से एनिमल्स भी इसी तरीके से ब्रीथ करते हैं और वेस्ट गैस जब वो बाहर निकालते हैं त so this is how plants and animals excrete. Okay, my dear students, now sense and respond. Animals use hearing and seeing, smelling to respond for getting food and escape from danger. You can see different animals responding to their environment. Now plants also respond to their environment. Plants respond to sunlight and moisture. So the stem and leaves grow towards the sunlight, whereas the roots grow away from the sunlight towards the water. So this is how plants respond, sense and respond to their surroundings. Now, next is excretion. So plants excrete waste gas and water through their leaves. 
सो है यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज अवेपोरेशन फ्राम द लीव तो इस तरीके से वेस्ट जो है वो रिमूव हो जाता है एंड अगेन वैन द लीव फॉल ऑफ दे ऑल्सो हैव वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट एंड एनिमल्स ऑल्सो एक्सक्रीट थ्रू देयर ड्रॉपिंग्स एंड दे ऑल्सो एक्सक्रीट द गैस वेस्ट गैस आउट ऑफ देयर बॉडी विच इज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो दीज आर द टू करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सेंस एंड रिस्पॉन्ड जो आज हमने पढ़ी है एंड द नेक्स्ट इज एक्सक्रीशन सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टू वर्ड्स अ प्रोजेक्ट आप ये प्रोजेक्ट जो है पहले देखें कि मैं कैसे परफॉर्म करूंगी देन कलेक्ट ऑल द थिंग्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड देन परफॉर्म इट विद योर क्लास फेलोज एंड योर टीचर सो प्रोजेक्ट लेट्स लुक एट द मटीरियल फर्स्ट वी नीड अ प्लांट पॉट हैविंग अ प्लांट and what we need to do it we need to place the plant in dark room allow sunlight in the room for one side only keep watering the plant daily observe its growth for one month alternatively paint a large box black inside make a hole on one side as yellow inlet place the pot in it close the box from all side observe after 3 weeks so my dear students this is how यू विल मेक द बॉक्स फर्स्ट और मैंने ये बॉक्स बनाया हुआ है रूम के अंदर डार्क करना और उसको जो है वो उसके अंदर से एक तरफ से लाइट लाना जो है दैट इज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड अ प्लांट एंड अ पॉट इट हैज सॉइल इन इट एंड वॉट वी नीड इज वी नीड अ बॉक्स इट इज कवर्ड फ्रॉम ऑल साइज एंड आई हैव मेड अ होल ऑन वन साइड तो हम इसको ऐसी जगह पे रखेंगे कि लाइट सिर्फ इस साइड से जो है इसमें एंटर होगी इसको चारों तरफ से नहीं लगेगी सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वट वी विल डू इज वी विल पुट द प्लांट इन साइड इट एंड आई विल कवर इट आई विल कवर इट एंड नाउ आई विल प्लेस इट नियर अ विंडो ताकि लाइट जो है वो सिर्फ इस पार्ट से जो है वो एंटर हो एंड आई विल कीप वॉटरिंग इट आपने इसको डेली जो है वो पानी भी देना है या इसको आपने ऑल्टरनेट डेज के ऊपर जो है वो पानी देना है एक दिन छोड़ के एक दिन और आफ्टर अ फ्यू डेज हम इसकी ऑब्जर्वेशन जो है वो चेक करेंगे कि किस तरीके से हमने इसको नोट किया ना लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड सो व्हाट वी विल ऑब्जर्व इज इन विच डायरेक्शन डिड द स्टेम मूव तो हम जब कुछ दिनों के बाद आफ्टर थ्री वीक्स जब हम इसकी ऑब्जर्वेशन चेक करेंगे तो हम ये देखेंगे कि इसके जो लीव्स हैं या इसके जो स्टेम है वो किस साइड पर मूव किए हुए हैं तो डेफिनेटली दे विल मूव टूवर्ड्स The where the sunlight is entering, जहां पर sunlight enter हो रही है ये definitely उस तरफ जो है वो grow करेंगे So result, uh, what did you learn from this activity? So थ्री weeks के बाद आप इसकी observation record करेंगे और उसको आप note down करेंगे So my dear students here, you can see कि आप flower pot लेंगे और फिर आपने उसको dark box के अंदर रखना है और उसके बाद आप note करेंगे that the plant or the stem will grow towards the होल दैट वी हैव मेड क्योंकि लाइट उस होल में से एंटर हो रही है जिससे हमें ये पता चलेगा कि प्लांट्स जो है वो सनलाइट को रिस्पॉन्ड करते हैं और उनका जो स्टेम है या उनके जो लीव है दे ग्रो टूवर्ड्स द सन लाइट ऑलवेज सो दिस इज हाउ दे रिस्पॉन्ड टू देयर इन्वायरमेंट ओके सो आपने इसको एक्सपेरिमेंट को वीडियो पॉज करें चीजों को कलेक्ट करें एंड देन परफॉर्म इट विद योर क्लास फेलोज यू विल थॉरली इंजॉय इट I hope you have enjoyed it. After three weeks, do record the observations. So, my dear students, uh, project two uh, result जो है वो ये होगा कि plants respond to the sunlight in way of stem growth. Plants stem grow towards the sunlight. So, my dear students, now is the time for evaluation. Quickly listen to the questions and then answer them orally. So, how animals sense and respond? they have different hearing organs they have different sense organs like hearing seeing taste and they respond accordingly so when they smell and um, see or hear something that and they feel that it's dangerous they run away so this is their response running away is their response or smelling seeing or hearing jo thi ye unhone sense kiya tha okay next how plants respond plants respond to the water and sunlight Uh, their stem grows towards the sunlight their roots grow away from the sunlight towards the water so this is how they respond to the sunlight and water how plants excrete to their leaves how animals excrete they breathe out waste gas called carbon dioxide and they uh, excrete their waste through their droppings in their urine and in their faces 
So my dear students, now let's move forward towards the practice. For practice, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So my dear students, what you will do is write down your name and your roll number and then listen to the questions and then answer them. What is what are senses in animals? So different senses hai, hearing, seeing, smell, up, touch, aapne ye sari senses jo hai, unke names likhne hai. Now how animals respond? Aapko koi ek example jo hai, wo quote karni hai yaha. Which stimuli that plants respond to that is sunlight and water. How plants respond? Their stem grows towards the sunlight and their roots grow away from the sunlight. What are excretions in plant? That is the waste cause gas carbon dioxide, uh, sorry oxygen and the waste is also uh, stored inside the leaves which fall off when they uh, die. How animals excrete? Through, uh, they excrete out the waste gas carbon dioxide and they also excrete through their droppings. So my dear students, this is the worksheet. Uh, pause the video and quickly finish it. I hope everybody has finished it. Now let's move forward. So my dear students, now let's quickly look at the homework. So for homework, what you will do is you will do question number one, respond on page number 24. So my dear students, uh, question number one, compare the plants and animals in terms of you have already done reproduction and movement. Today you will do response. So how plants and animals response. So kaise wo response karte hai? Apne environment ko. You have to write about that. You can also take help from the book. So my dear students, this is your homework. Now next what you will do is you will do an independent activity. Differentiate between humans and plants in terms of A. Movement. B. Obtaining food. Fill in the following table. So my dear students, aap uh, ne kaise uh, features jo hai, wo hai movement or obtaining food. So aap ne batana hai ke plants jo hai, wo kaise apna food obtain karte hai. Thik hai, they make their own food. And plants, animals, they eat plants or other animals. Next is uh, movement. Plants uh, move their different, uh, their stem growth ki vire se ye move karta hai, roots in ki grow karte hai, tab ye movement show karte hai. And um, uh, this is the movement in plants, whereas animals move from one place to another through their legs, they can move their body parts. So these are the movements in animals. So uh, you will complete it in your worksheet. If required, you can also use your notebook. Because if you have not come here, then you can draw the notebook in the table and complete it. So my dear students, now let's move forward towards the wrap up. So today what we have learned, we have learned that Animals sense by seeing, hearing and smelling to respond for getting food and escape from danger. Plants respond to sunlight from leaves and water from roots. Plants excrete waste gas, water and substances through yellow leaves. Animals excrete carbon dioxide and waste in droppings. So my dear students, this is it. We have studied about two more characteristics of plants and animals that is sense and response and uh, excretion. I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.